Honorable Chief Guest, Excellencies, Ambassadors, High Commissioners, Distinguished Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome all of you to this very important deliberation in the Asian Regional Conference on Belt and Road Initiative. I especially would like to thank our invited speakers who have traveled to Bangladesh from far, from many countries in Southeast Asia, South Asia, and China. A special thanks to our honorable chief guest for accepting our invitation to inaugurate this conference this morning. Thank you, sir, for coming. The history of BRI, or Belt and Road Initiative, is very long and deep. For centuries, the courageous and the diligent people of Eurasia explored and opened up several rules of trade and cultural exchange that linked major civilizations in Asia, Europe, and Africa, which collectively was called the Silk Road for generations together. For thousands of years, the Silk Road brought out the prospect of peace, cooperation, openness, and inclusiveness, and mutual learning and mutual benefit. And that has been transferred from generations to generations of human civilization. This symbolizes the communication and cooperation between the East and the West. And the Silk Road spirit is a historic cultural heritage which is shared by all countries along the Belt and Road. It is with such spirit when the Chinese president, President Xi Jinping, when he visited Central Asia and Southeast Asia in September and October 2013, he raised the initiative of jointly building the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st century Maritime Silk Road. This has now attracted the close attention from all over the world. He aptly called it the project of the century. It is in fact a mega vision that will operate not at only strategic level, but at the level of grand strategy. BRI consists of two parts. The belt, which recreates the old Silk Road that links the countries in Central Asia to Europe and beyond. And the road, interestingly, which is not actually a road, but a maritime route that runs through various oceans linking the continents of Asia and Africa and Europe. As of January 2018, 71 countries representing a third of the global GDP have altogether joined this project. China has already invested more than 900 billion US dollars in projects along the Belt and Road, mainly in infrastructure, transport, and energy. These projects include gas pipeline in Pakistan, a motorway in Hungary, a high-speed railway link in Thailand, and many, many more. The belt is still evolving. It brings out the long-term vision of Eurasian infrastructural development, connectivity, and economic cooperation. This is, there is a vast vacuum of critical infrastructure gap in large parts of Eurasia, which in most cases, many of these countries have been unable to fulfill. Therefore, the BRI has received with enthusiasm throughout many of the countries of Eurasia as a project that should be implemented. The belt can provide public goods that could potentially catalyze socioeconomic development in Central and South Asian countries. The road or the Maritime Silk Road aims at creating a $1.8 trillion blue or maritime based economy, improving food and energy security, securing sea lanes of communication, and furthering global maritime connectivity. The road alongside the belt intends to bridge the vast global terrestrial maritime connectivity gap and will indeed lead to positive development of cooperation 
and cooperation spin-offs. In our region, the Indian Ocean region, the road will stimulate development support and connectivity. The road in association with the belt will reshape the nature of the Indian Ocean region as a more interconnected global commons in lieu of the previous role of the Indian Ocean as a relatively enclosed maritime space. Bangladesh is an important member of BRI and has signed several MOUs and contracts for infrastructure construction and economic cooperation, totaling US dollar 40 billion, which was signed during the visit of President Xi Jinping to Dhaka in October 2016. We are a key maritime nation along the road and a strategic Indian Ocean country. Our geostrategic location at the critical entry point of the Bay of Bengal gives us the opportunity to play a major role in this geoeconomic and geoconnectivity vision of BRI.